Hey everybody, this is Reverend Essie of New Birth Ministries and I am coming to you today with a word that I know God has been showing me um, most of this year and I was trying to hold up on it because I don't want to blame people and I don't want to be a finger pointer but I have to say yes to the Holy Spirit and I have to do what he's been showing me to do for a while and that is Tell his people, tell God's people to have hope, hold on to their hope and their joy. Uh, what has been happening a lot lately, and I've been noticing, noticing it for a long time, but I didn't want to say anything. But there are people out there, um, I don't know, want to be prophets, want to be preachers or what have you. And they have the, they go by old tradition. They go by the Old Testament. They have the, they look like they're, they're prophets or, you know, they wear the garb and everything. It's all an act. And God wants you to know that be careful because even the devil comes as um, a light. Amen. But he is not light. Everything that looks the part is not the correct thing. Amen. It's not sent by God. Now, there are those I have noticed. I wasn't going to say anything, but I got confirmation again from the Holy Spirit just now. And I immediately jumped on to do this video because I know God wants you to know this. But there are people out there who are ministers of death. Do you remember whenever the um, king of Israel saw, okay, the one that was chasing after David, it was jealous of David? He wanted to find out whether or not Israel was going to win a war because God had stopped speaking to him. Saul did exactly what these preachers and prophets do. They go out and they do their own thing and God stops speaking to them. So they find out informa information on their own and they sound good and they present it good and they deceive many. Amen. If I have to wear garb, for you to believe that I preached the word of God, then I'm fake. I'm phony. There's something wrong there because God didn't require all that. Now, he requires us to be holy, but that's be holy. You don't have to look, you know, the, like the, you're from the old, straight up out of the Old Testament and everybody should, re should respect me because I'm wearing this. No, it's not about that. So anyhow, Saul went to a witch to get information because Samuel had... God had stopped talking to him and Samuel had died. Okay, so instead of Saul using his relationship with the Lord and hearing from the Lord, he had to hear from somebody else. And this is what a lot of us do. We fall for these witches and everything because we have to hear from somebody else because we don't know how to hear from God on our own. Because we haven't spent time with God long enough to be able to know when he's speaking to us through our ears or through our hearts. Amen. So God, I want to read these. Uh, if you want to write these down, uh, he showed me these scriptures about God wants us to have hope. Stop listening to witches who are preaching death and destruction. There are some people, I have watched them online, and they talk about death and destruction so much that they, they add hope at the, at the end of the sentence, at the end of the paragraph, to make it look like they're doing the right thing. But there are some people who are hell-bent on preaching death and destruction. Amen. Here is what God wants me to tell you. Hope. Amen. When you are in despair, God wants you to have hope. And uh, uh, let's say, I'll start with Romans 8, 24. Okay. For we are saved by hope. Amen. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for? And then Romans uh, 15, 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience, patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now, if somebody is preaching to you and they're not preaching patience and they're not preaching comfort to you and they're not preaching hope and they're, pre they're not preaching God's glory and the reason why Jesus came here and that you are the righteousness of God, the Father, and you are one and, and anything that comes up, anything that comes up against you shall 
fall. It shall not prosper. If they are not preaching the word, the, the gospel, which means good news, it's that simple. If they are not preaching the good news of God, they're witches. Be careful who you sit under and be careful who you listen to. And if you watch your relationship with them, if for those of you who follow people online and everything, watch your relationship with them. They care less about you. They're not thinking about you because you're too close to the truth. And they don't want to hear from you. No matter how much you try to talk to them or get in their chat line or what have they don't have time for you because they're witches and they know that you tell the truth. Amen. So God says, let me see if I can get another one here. Um, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is love, charity, love. If they're not preaching or teaching love, if they're using YouTube's time or Rumble's time or Facebook's time, and they're, if they're using it to preach death and destruction, they are not sent by God. I don't care how cute they are, how well they talk, what their background is, what they did years ago, and how much you should respect them. They're not teaching the truth. It says faith, hope, and charity. Amen. And 1 Peter 3, 15. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you. With meekness and fear. Now, these people are not putting hope in you. They're not teaching you how to multiply, how to, to uh, add on to your hope and how to have love and peace in your life. Anybody that preaches death is an angel of death. And they don't even, some of them don't even realize it. Okay, so that was my message to you today. God tells us about his eternal hope. Amen. Amen. So watch who you listen to. Amen. Guard your eye gates and guard your ear gates. Hallelujah. Because the devil is running around roaring as a roaring lion because he knows his time is short. So if they're messengers of Satan, if they're messengers of death, all they can think about and talk about and preach about is death, 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 they are not of God. Jesus died once so that we can live. Amen. Reverend Nancy signing off. To God be the glory for the things he has done. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you.